Fire. Fire. Yeah. Twenty. Yeah, what's the point? I put two vods in it and it was is this necessary? But well, you know, we gotta collect what we did. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't even have I should have brought my shades with me. Hey guys. <laughs> it's actually New Year's Day and I'm already recording the first of January 20. 20? Actually, let me start again. I'm so guessed that it's the new year. New year, new me, and all of them things there that I even didn't even introduce myself i'm like i'm so excited hi guys welcome to my channel um it's gussie here aka independent gus or whatever and anyways it's the new year i'm so happy like i don't think you actually understand i've been going through a lot and i guess i'm low-key i don't I wouldn't say i'm here to tell you i'm kind of here to tell you like run down my year because it was like it was a good year it was like the best and the worst i was just like and i'm just hoping that you know all those good stuff all the all the like lit times of this year last year um happens again because i'm just like it was fire fire yeah anyways so uh, i can't even think oh this time last year, I was in Sierra Leone and I can't even tell you the madness that happened. January 1st, 2019 was, act was actually crazy and I can't, I genuinely don't even know how to explain it to you because I was having a, a great time. I was not recording what was happening because it's a bit bad, but I'm just like, it was actually crazy. This time last year, so I was in Sierra Leone, my home where i'm from and i was i was living i was literally having the best time it was, it was it was just crazy but yeah so new year's day i went to church i i stepped into the new year in church the same way i did this year in church went to the stadium with my cousins my sister friends it was a good time it was a good time and then um yeah anyways let's continue run down for the, for the whole year january obviously as i said i was spending it in syrian at the beginning of the thing and then my birthday came and it, we went out the night before from the second because the second is my cousin's birthday and then we went into the third and then i had like a little drink up with the like my friends and my cousins it was just so hilarious like me and my sister play videos and it's just insanely funny like it's so it's too funny that was a highlight of january and then i also got my car my car. it's literally not even the best car but it's my car and it's my first car so i got my car in january so that's coming up to a year now which is quite exciting considering i love driving even though I'm, I'm not a great driver so nobody asked me for any lifts because i will not give you one thank you february was like in january i started booking a lot of stuff so like i got drake tickets i got i booked miami coming on to that one um I booked other things as well. I can't even remember. So it was just a lot. And then February was just like a slump. I mean, what's in February? Valentine's Day. Okay. What to do? Like, it's not a big deal. And March was pretty similar for me. Again, like, I don't, I, I mean, I'm always going out. Don't get it twisted. But I, sh I mean, you can get it twisted if you like. I mean, I'm going out, but I'm not really at the same time. So whatever. I mean, I'll sprinkle a little bit of work into everything i mean everything into some of this in march we had an awards night at the company that i work for <laughs> i did a bit of a crazy thing i actually we won an award didn't it so i went on stage to collect man's in finance but you know we gotta collect what we did you know what, you know what i'm saying we gotta collect those accolades okay so i was on stage and basically someone gassed me <laughs> somebody actually gassed me and was like gussie take a selfie on stage and i was like okay if we win i'm doing it innit? i'm doing it that's like i was like what am i doing what am i actually doing i went on stage and i was like selfie i got a video one of like one of my colleagues was like what are you doing on stage it was crazy i was like and then my managing director decided that he wanted to put that video on his instagram so i'm like i mean was it a good thing yes so that was like my only 
thing of March. Then we step into April. Beginning of April. So Drake for the third time. <laughs> Obviously, I was fangirling crazy, but the other one that I saw that was literally in my heart of like in my heart, like I I wouldn't if you if there is a replica of future out in this world, please just send me a message. I want you because future is literally everything that I want in this life. I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm just like, he came out in an all white suit, yeah, and shades. And I'm just like, I don't even have, I should have brought my shades with me. How could I not have my shades? Guys, I'm actually going to go and get my shades. This right here is me. Like me and future deserve, deserve to be together. How, how can he come out? I have these exact shades on actually. This was me and this was him. And I was like, like, did you have to do that to us? Like, did you? Anyways, I'm all, I will take these off. Seeing Drake was epic. And then Drake went and go and do a little, like, annoying thing by saying that he needs credit for Afrobeats. And I'm just like, <sighs> Drake, let's, let's not do that. Yeah? Let's just cut it out. Another great thing of April. April. I mean, who was excited to only be disappointed by like the last 55 minutes yeah the last two hours of game of thrones it was the final season it, like literally me and my sister would go out like at like 11 30 be like what are we eating tonight what's the vibe what are we saying we need to make sure 2 2 a.m i said 11 30 was even going out at 12 30 what am i talking ordering in from 12 30 so we make sure they're not even buzzing at the time Game of Thrones is on. I haven't watched it again yet since it ended. And I'm just like, I don't know how soon it's going to be before I actually decide that I want to watch it again. I don't know how I feel. And then, of course, we have the Sierra Leone Independence Day. A little turn, turn up. And then May. You know, I went to a couple events, you know. It was a good time. You know, the bank holiday ones. And then I was lucky enough to be promoted at work so decided for the first time as a little promotion gift to myself i was gonna get my hair like washed treated trimmed like professionally so i decided to get myself a silk press um yeah i think it was it was necessary i got it done and i was so surprised at my hair my hair was healthier than i thought it was but it wasn't like an hour later um, it frizzed but it wasn't like frizz where you could be like it's back to the way it was it was just like i don't know how long this silk press like for it to happen in the same day i was like what does that even mean but it definitely did last me a good two weeks and i had to like kind of re-straighten it but the thing is now i feel like my hair i don't know if it's because i re-straightened it or the curl patterns are doing a madness is this necessary another thing that happened in june was the ends festival so me and my bestie on the sd in the sd mm -mm -mm. anyways me and my bestie we decided to go to ends festival it was the first one ever and we didn't go on friday didn't go on the sunday we went on the saturday the saturday was um whiz kid headlining i had seen him once before at afro republic in 2018 oh my god that was two years ago now it's 2020 damn anyway so i'd seen him then and he was lit it was in the o2 and then yeah i saw him at ends festival there was a good festival i mean it was successful in terms of it being like its first one i don't know if it's competing with wireless yet yeah it was good i can't even remember who else was there i remember the other headliners being damian marley and nas due Ju july july guys guys july Ju July. I can't even stop saying July. That's how bad it is. July was. I don't even know what to say. But me and my bestie on the SD in the SD SD decided we wanted to do up tour. 
low-key low-key tour we i feel like we need to do a number one but like to different states so we went to four different states we started off in la went to atlanta went to miami then new york it was just key like every single state was just key started off in la we met the maddest uber driver like from the get like we landed got off the plane got our luggage jumped in the uber uber driver was a madman and it was just like okay like it was crazy people are constantly offering us to take us out la we just we can't even break it down it was just weird and then i think that if i wasn't living in london i would live in atlanta because i'm just like everything that we had to even just like the, it was non-stop we got there my cousin's offering he's like do you want to go to the cookout it's on the other side of atlanta but i was like wait is there jollof he was like there's jollof i was like oh but he's like it's on the other side so we have to go home to get ready or we go to that and i'm like let's go home and get ready go home get ready miss the cookout it rained i was like damn this is the fourth of july as well so then he's like oh we're gonna link up with my cousins later i think they got a table whatever whatever and then so we went to eat oh we went we stepped into jr crickets yeah stepped into jr crickets <gasps> bearing in mind we haven't slept since our flight and we didn't even sleep the night before i can't remember why Stepped into JR Crickets, yeah? I want you to take me in, like, there was just... <laughs> of niggas that were just fine specimen. I was like... <laughs> paintings everywhere, paintings over there, paintings over there. I was like... She was like, the only table we have is the one that's in front of us. And I was like, oh, you're actually, you're actually killing me right now. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do about this whole situation? Just somebody tell me. We was like, no, we can't eat here because it's literally at the entrance. I went to the Claire, went to, the, went to VODs in it and it was... So we're done, it's like four. You know, with London, if it's not an event, it's not finished, it's finishing at 2, 2.30, pushing it to three, maybe three. Fair. Events finish at four and you don't get every event. Anyway, anyway. Went to Vods is finished at four now, the club. I mean, oh, the club was so lit. We was just chilling, vibing, shisha, everything, Patron. Sarah's doing shots on Patron. I'm like, girl, she's like, ah. Anyway, we leave now. We're booking my, uh, the Uber because my cousin went because he had to go work on the, the Friday. His cousin was like, oh, so you coming to the next spot? I was like, let me, let me cancel the Uber, cancel the Uber. Anyway, carried on the night. Oh, guys, I could cousin for the club was like, oh, pool party. What are you saying? And I'm like, of course. Then we got to the pre-drinks, the pre-game. My other cousin comes and then we have to decide between two pool parties. They're like, one's ratchet, it's like, ratchet. When I say ratchet, and I'm like, I mean ratchet. And then the other one's like, you know, but it's not ratchet. So I'm like, okay, I want to go to the ratchet one because, you know, we could get everything else, everything, everywhere else. But the American ratchet is a different kind of ratchet. So I need to know, is it going to be ratchet? We ended up having to flip a coin because they couldn't decide. That's how lit both sides were. Because they were like, I genuinely can't decide. So he flipped a coin, ended up going to Snailsville. And it, it was like, I'm going back and I need to do the absolute most. Like, there were so many cuties. There was like so many ratchet girls. There were snakes. There was, first of all, we got there. I had to sign a waiver. When we was in LA, we did su surfing. Did we sign waiver? Because it basically said we was going to die. When it comes to Atlanta house party, pool party, they were like, do you want to sign a waiver? I was like, where do we sign? Like, we need to actually get into this. Bro, it was all a bit mad. Like, if you had me on Snapchat, you would have seen. It was crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> So couple, couple celebs, Trina, Fabulous, the bait ones that are in Miami. I think we saw we saw Rich Dollars. We went to the strip club. New York was mad. We went to an industry party. Don't even know how. 
and then ugh, we went to this oh, avocado steakhouse in Harlem. I had the prawns with the mashed potato and the spinach and the gravy and it was so... I actually had prawns in every single state that I went to. I had prawns in LA, in Atlanta, Miami, New York. Oh, that whole trip, it was just so crazy. And then came back, did what I needed to do and then flew out to Portugal. And that was the entrance into my August. Everybody who's anybody, who's everybody, knows Afro Nation Portugal, the first of its kind, was as lit as it was supposed to be because it was so organized. Everyone was just chilled. No one was like doing the absolute. Afro Nation was just lit, seeing all the artists. I don't even know who I could name as my favorite. I was so waved for Davido. Like my sister got onto him on the Sunday, innit? And I was like, why are you getting onto him? He was putting in bare effort. Da -da -da -da. This time, obviously, I vlogged. If you haven't, you can check it out, you know. Anyway, I didn't realize he was shouting. So I was like, wait, let me check these videos. I need to make my vlog like, let me check. I checked. Davido, you really did us that dirty. But yeah, it was amazing. Jay Huss was, oh, I think he was my favorite. Burner Boy would have been, but I felt like, first of all, his mic flopped. Felt like the routine of his his set was just not so gutted. I missed Young Bane. He's another husband of mine. Oh, anyways, Young Bane, hold at me, 079. Yeah, Jay Huss was definitely my favorite. He was definitely my favorite. Everyone was saying how uh, Afro Nation was gonna flop, but that I don't know if any of like any of the others are gonna be the same. Afro Nation Garners just happened. It looked like it was lit, but I didn't get the same vibe. Like, I didn't feel like I was missing out. Ghana, I felt like I was missing out on Ghana, but I didn't feel like I missed out on Afro Nation Garners. Oh, the Banj, the Banj was lit. Um, Busy Sigma was lit. Who else was oh. lit? That was like the start of my August. The end of my august carnival and stalker music is just in my heart and it just it lives there it actually lives there and for the first time i got to play mask it was just if you haven't already again check out the vlog on when i played mask because it was just lit like i don't i don't think you understand like i don't know if i could ever go back to Northern hill carnival and not play mass because it was just such an experience it was so lit me and my girl my salon paddy she brought me on a band, Ucom, and it was just, it was big, it was lit, and it was just peng, and I'm like, I still have my costume, I don't want to throw it away. September was the time things started to go. You know, you live and you learn. Can cook out. We did a barbecue, and the barbecue was actually lit, and the food was so nice. Obviously, I went there to do my thing, you know, for charity, for sponsoring. You can check it out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Dang, um, October was literally probably the hardest. I don't even think I want to go into detail about everything. Let's just say there was a few family things that were happening, and it just is difficult to always like take that on as pressure, but segue in to another topic um i had a presentation so at my workplace everybody has the opportunity throughout the year to present I had to present my day was the 31st and you know what i was glad it was the 31st because it was at the end of such a special month to me and my people and that is black history month they kind of aimed to do something for black history month which i think is a step in the right direction but kind of wanted us to lead it and i was like hmm Black history is everybody's history, so it's not just for black people to lead. With that being said, I said to myself that because I've been gifted with a, such a special date, I am going to use my presentation opportunity to teach people. So I decided that I was going to teach them about black hair and how to treat black people when it comes to black hair and it was such a like major thing because like it's so easy for us to just do these things and then accept things going back to an ignorant place and so i was so worried because i'm like this isn't this is like my reality that i'm presenting to you i'm not presenting something that i enjoy or something that you know hasn't got meaning i'm like yo this is my life this is black people's lives and i just broke it down and it was received so well like i don't everyone was so proud of me i was just like oh my god thank you. it wasn't even about them being proud it was more about the message like more about them having the understanding of how to treat 
black people, black women, black men when it comes to our hair. I'm not Halloween. Like, you know, be dipping and dabbing, dipping and dabbing, dipping and dabbing, you know, around with the events. Um, I also saw Whiskey actually. I shouldn't leave that out because I do I told you he's my husband, but I saw him again for the fourth time. Um, it was good. He brought out Tiwa, he brought out Fireboy. It was oh, Fireboy and that just I'm getting jealous. No one I see you with anybody. I'm getting jealous. I'm ready. How could I not? It's not even how could I not. It's just more of a like Jackie Ina released her palette. For me, like I love Jackie Ina in it. And I know this isn't the first collaboration that she's done because obviously she's got the Too Faced one and she's got others. But I think this was her biggest achievement. For herself and for me i was like this is a must have a palette is not something that will go wrong if you know what i mean like you can't get the wrong palette and i bought it and i was like i love it and that was just a big thing for me in october okay it was a highlight in all the low light and then november came along so if you know me you know that i can't miss out so i went to burn boy concert and it was amazing and i'm so glad i did it it was just 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 spectacular it was just spectacular i had the time of my life and it was so needed a lot of things again are still going on you know time doesn't wait for no man i decided to get my ticket on the day and it was worth it let me just say that another you know amazing thing that happened in november was my nephew was born i got a lot of stuff in black friday that was a plus and then I went to a year and like, it was an interesting, you know, trip. It was in Essex and it was weird. It was a barbecue. The setup was nice. Everything, like there was a fire, we had breakfast and there was like all this nice view. If you had me on Snap, you would have seen. And then, yeah, we just got waved. There was a hot tub. That was cool. That was cool. We went for my best friend's birthday yeah it was a bit of an eye opener but we moved december so just oh, guys it's actually new year's day oh my god it's free in the morning <laughs> a massive low light was the fact that i'm even here like the start of this video i told you about how i was going i was in a cell I've literally been in my house i made christmas dinner we won't be doing that again yeah i'll be in sierra leone and someone will cook for me. Next year, next year. How is next year gonna be? I don't know how I feel about next year, guys. I wasn't, I say next year, oh my God. It's really now. 2020! Well, I've already, well, in two days. Friday, I will be in Amsterdam. So that should be a good time for my 25th birthday. And then I've already booked Afronation Portugal again. So that should be a good time. I'm planning to go back to Atlanta. I can't be talking about Atlanta like that and not go back to Atlanta or like, what does that even mean? Like genuinely. And then Sierra Leone, throughout the year, what else can I do? Small, small turn up. I would definitely be going to my events, you know? You know me, independence gonna come up. <laughs> Wireless. I'm excited, I'm excited. Let me not act, I am excited. I think I'm gonna have some new adventures because I've been having, I had a few adventures, like even, the first five days of last year was a bit crazy. Like, this is a very, very massive turn down. That mad, mad, mad didn't happen. I started in church this year and now I'm recording a video. It's not that crazy, is it? Thank you for watching my video. Um, hope you enjoyed my year rundown. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share it. Anyways, ciao. Goodbye.